Hey, this is for Anthony Lunsford. Heard about your humorous fictional basketball novel with a gut check ending. Putting a little common sense into men competing in women's sports. Transgendered hoops. Identify as female. Sold out multi-times on Amazon. On Netflix soon? I don't know. Anyway, check this out. <laughs> Tell us a little bit, just a little bit, um, no spoilers to Matt here, about the, the book. About okay. The well, <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's so hard to avoid getting into it, but, but I'll, here's how it goes. Um, the story's about nine guys, high school boys, that are basically uh, get put in a bad situation by abusive coaches. And I, and I know you've got a kid that plays hockey, so... If you, you've either had at some point in your life a bad coach or you've seen them in action on other teams and, and us as parents, it's so hurtful and it makes you so angry. So you get to see what happens. And that's kind of what sparks this whole story. It was written. It was written really as a, a, a fictional sports novel to get your interest into it. And, and that's what happens in the story. That's what sparks it. These poor, poor boys have. Uh, no chance of going to college. They had these great college dreams of playing sports and earning a scholarship. Without that scholarship, they have no chance of going to college. Um, so in rolls into the story to two gentlemen that kind of transform and change these young men's lives, um, not in a, good, in a good way for them, but not in a good way for the rest of the world. And, and, and what happens is uh, they find a loophole in the system. Um, and we all know what that loophole is. Um, it's, it's that blind political correctness that enables you to, in, in one second, be able to say, I, I choose to identify as a female, and now I'm allowed to play in women's sports. I'm allowed to play against girls the next day without taking any hormones, without doing any kind of surgeries, without seeing anyone. You just selectively do it. And that's what sparks the story. These... Um, Nine boys have an event that pulls them together from four different high schools here in Cincinnati. Uh, I won't mess that up. You got to read it to get it. But uh, and they move on and, and they have great success and they use. As bad as it is, they end up using that political correctness and that identifying as female as, as like a force field for them. They're untouchable because everybody knows that the PC sledgehammer will come down on you hard if you buck up against them. So they, they take advantage of that. Um, story goes on and, and you're really going to have to read it. But, but the end of the story is that point to where realization hits. 
and that gut check, and it'll be that gut check for every reader that reads the book about what have I done? Um, basically, in the process of doing this to help nine boys, I've burned Title IX to the ground. I've destroyed women's sports. It's it's um, that that that's over. So that's kind of I guess the little spoiler alert part that uh, that's kind of short short the version. Reality. Yeah. Reality. We have almost half the states now letting children do this, identify as.